Hi, my name is Mess, and I'm here to answer your questions about the Roman Empire. So this one is from Hamish, who asks if it's true that the Romans persecuted other religions, crucified people who worshipped other gods, such as the Christians. And I think this is, a, this is a really good question, because we do have a lot of stories from Christianity about Christians being persecuted. But actually, Rome was a very tolerant empire. It didn't have the strictness that we see in Islam or Christianity today, where there was one way to worship the gods and there was a church that decided how things had to be done. Roman religion was actually quite flexible in that sense compared to modern monotheistic religions. And it's also important to remember that Rome actually incorporated the worship of a lot of different gods into the city. So for example, the Egyptian goddess Isis was worshiped in Rome and the Eastern god Mithras was very, very popular in the army. So in general, Rome was actually good at incorporating the worship of new gods and did not in the same way as Christianity, for example, say that there, there were only their gods and all other gods were false. That wasn't the Roman way of doing things. And in that sense, they were quite tolerant. The problem with the Christians was that the Christian was a monotheistic religion. So it's a religion that has only one god and there could not be more. And in Rome, it was common that the emperor was deified. So he was made a god. Uh, after he, he died. He was also sometimes worshipped while he was alive. Of course, the Christians refused to acknowledge the emperor as a god because there was only one god in their worldview. In the first century, this was more of a nuisance to the Roman emperor. There weren't that many Christians and it wasn't that big of a problem. So they were persecuted, but the persecutions in the first century are probably exaggerated by our Christian writers. It's only once we get into the third century and Christianity really starts becoming a big and widespread religion. That's when we get the first persecutions because the Christians refuse to acknowledge the, the emperor as, as a god of the first really big and widespread persecutions. So essentially the problem with Christianity is not because Rome was an intolerant empire, it was because the Christians refused to do the one thing that was obligatory and that everybody else did, namely acknowledge the divinity of the emperor. And it's also, as I say, important to remember that the Christian writers have probably exaggerated many of the persecutions of the Christians to create a, a, a common identity of being persecuted. So, to sum up, Rome did not generally persecute other religions. It was actually a tolerant empire that was good at incorporating other cultures' gods. And the big problem with Christianity was that they did not accept the Roman emperor as god. And that was a specific problem for Christianity, and that's why Christians became persecuted. Thank you.